Uh, quickly, some constraints on what can't be disclosed during mining studies. Obviously, false or misleading information is certainly out under, under criminal law and civil law. Uh, most jurisdictions, uh, so Australia and Singapore, they prohibit um, the discussion of the results of a study without disclosing what the future funding requirements might be. And because we use the job code, the job code specifies that anything with job code information in it, you can't go and introduce your own terminology at the same time. Valmin also excludes discussion of in situ value of materials without a proximal discussion of the costs of production. Of course, any, any forward-looking statements has to have reasonable grounds, and you have to disclose what those reasonable grounds are in your study. Uh, it's, uh, everywhere, so Australia, Singapore, other places, you cannot disclose a production target or a financial forecast that is solely based on an inferred resource. Now, this is interesting for Singapore because you can list a company with inferred resources here, but the point is that an inferred resource is not on its own an acceptable input to an income-based valuation method. And in the case of an IQPR or at an IPO prospectus, uh, disclosing anything without disclosing all the information that an investor might need is a no-no.